This conference will now be recorded. Good morning, all. So in previous classes, we discussed about the, so what is fiber optic communication? So what are the mode of operation? Okay. Uh, then what are the basic laws available for the optical communications? Okay. Yes. So then today's topic is, so first of all, we have the basic law, optical law. Then we go for the basics of waveguides, optical waveguides, then planar, rectangular, etc. Especially for simple definition for the uh, your uh, mode of mode of uh, operation for the waveguides. Then small summary. Okay. Yeah. Just for quick overview about the previous classes. Okay. Please go through the diagram. So those who are went for on duty and those who are in off send me. So just listen please carefully. So please see the diagram. So there is a transmitter circuit and receiver circuit. So normally we transmit data through the cable. It may be electrical cable or some other cable. Okay. So already we are familiar with the electrical cable. Electrical cable is made up of copper or aluminium. Okay. So in case of copper means the losses are high. Okay. So also there may be chances for heat, then the, uh, then uh, data losses. Okay. Then security. That is also an uh, important one. But in case of fiber optic communication, okay, these things are a plus one, okay, positive one, okay. So the data is transmitted through the transmitter circuit. So with the help of the light source, here there are inbuilt blocks are available, but that is not necessary for us, okay. So yesterday we saw some video. On the video, what are the inbox, in the some blocks are available, we will do okay. So your electrical signals, electrical pulses are converted into the optical pulses. Then it is transmitted through the fiber optic cable. The receiver in the Pathina, there is a fourth detector is there. So the sources of what are the examples we are using? LED and laser. In case of detector, Abina, what are the uh, detectors we are using? Photo detector. Example, PN junction diode photo detector or avalanche photo diode. Oh, sorry, photo detector or photo diode we are using. Okay, so it transmitted by electrical pulses are converted into the light pulses. In receiver side, again, the light pulses are converted into the electrical pulses. It is generally three types of data we can transmit. One is audio or video or basic text data, that is for the uh, telemetry one. But telemetry means if a ECG signal or some other okay, uh, instruments is there, we can interconnect with that one. Okay. If ECG is not the output for Tina, one of print out a or measure for long or otherwise for display. Okay, there are three chances of that. So this is the basic operation. So your main important here, apart from your uh, copper wire, your optical fiber cables are used. Okay, your light signal is acting as the carrier. Okay. So please see the diagram. So what is the principle of operation here? Total internal reflection. Please recall total internal reflection. So what is the condition for total internal reflection? There are two conditions. The condition number one is N1 should be greater than N2. What is the N1? What is N2? N1 is medium one, that is for your core. And N2 is the medium two, that is for your clarity. Refracting windows of the core should be greater than refractive index of the cladding. That's why N1 greater than N2. That is the condition number one. What is the condition number two for your total internal reflection? Theta I should be greater than theta C. What is theta I? Angle of incidence. What is theta C? That is for critical angle. So theta I should be greater than theta C. So these two conditions is very much important for the optical fiber communication. Okay. Then the basic structure wise, so physical wires that is already we discussed. So, structure wise, these things kindly recall the so core, buffer, sorry, cladding, buffer, and jacket. Okay, yeah. So, this is for the multi core cable. So, basic laws means reflection, refraction, okay, then Snell's law. So, already we discussed what is reflection. The angle of reflection is equal to angle of incidence. Theta i is equal to theta r. That is the important one. 
so depends upon the surface it is not very even the rough surface also we are getting theta i is equal to theta r this is for reflection kindly recall yes now try to tell what is the refraction kindly recall what is the refraction what happens so in reflection condition is theta i is equal to theta r okay so what about your refraction yes. okay so this is the reflection conditions for the inside your scope fiber optics cable so the input is given from led or laser okay so led or laser light sources here so light is transmitted ray light rays are transmitted so it is not enter into the cladding because the condition number 1 and condition number 2 condition number 1 is n1 greater than n2 refractive index of this core is greater than refractive index of this cladding suppose it more irna enna hum automatically this light rays are not reflect there it goes inside the cladding okay that is happen so because of these conditions also condition number 2 theta i should be greater than theta c angle of incidence should be greater than critical angle so for these two conditions is satisfied mean automatically the reflection is happen so light will automatically reflect out again reflection reflection okay not for refraction okay yes so when okay light rays are passed from one medium into another medium so simple example here air into water mean okay here the reflect reflection is not happen apart from the refraction is happen the small bending of the light okay yes the very important one in previous cases reflection la pathina there is no speed of the light is changed the same speed of the light is maintained okay normally for vacuum speed of light is 3 into 10 power 8 okay so depends upon the medium it may be vary okay so here air and water so air la irukra speed vera water ku ponadukapra the speed of the light is changed okay yes please go through so when you travel from medium 1 to medium 2 the bending is happen okay it is the refraction and the recall now you need doubt in this basic structure of optical fiber cable reflection refraction then refractive index that is the important one n is equal to c by v speed of light is in air and you would need medium it may be water or a diamond or some other medium okay the next one snell's law so what is the condition for snell's law okay what are the equation so n1 n2 n1 sin theta 1 is equal n2 sin theta 2 that is the one okay yes this is the basic equation So what is the n1 by n2? Please go through. So we, we may expect some uh, simple problem. Okay, for in two marks point of view, anyway, exam. Okay, not expect for 16 mark or 8 mark problem. Uh, with the help of small basic formula, we can apply direct apply uh, problems. We may expect for two marks point of view. Okay. So this is the case for your reflection and refraction. Okay. So reflection, the basic condition is. Theta i is equal to theta r. Angle of incidence is equal to angle of reflection. But in case of your refraction, what happens? The angle of incidence are same. Okay, all my patino 45. Example second example 45 and third example 45. Okay, but depends upon the medium. Okay, the angle of refraction is changes. In case of water, means 32. Glass 28. In diamond and 17. Okay. So please try to understand the refraction. Okay. The next one mode of operation: single mode and multi mode. What is single mode? Only one signal is passed. Okay. Multi mode means multiple signals are passed. Here, what is the meaning for signal? Here, signal is nothing but light ray. Okay. So single mode, abhi na single light ray is passed. That is for single signal. A multi-mode means multiple signals. It's nothing but multiple light. So try to understand multi-mode fiber. Please go through the diagram. This is example for your multi-mode. 
generally we prefer for multi mode only because of economic purpose and where we are using single mode please tell anyone the greater distances that is for very very long distances we go for the single mode fiber okay so because single mode is nothing but only single strand is enough okay so multi core abhi na multiple core wires are there glass wires are there single mode abhi na only single strand wire okay ninga lab la use pannu use pannirkinga single strand wire the multi core wire you know the difference between these two okay so single mode fiber means only single strand is enough so single strand is very thin okay so cost wise less so we can able to implement up to okay more number of kilometers so very very long distances we prefer for single mode because ninga multi mode pombodu number of cores adhigama irukkanaala number of wire thickness is also high so losses undu chances adhigama irukum cost wise is also not permitted okay yes so up to this we discussed in the previous classes okay any doubt in this so this is for your mode analysis already we discussed the condition number 1 and condition number 2 single mode and multi mode see see the diagram yes what is single mode and what is multi mode so based upon this we have to uh, uh, become the conclusion for angle and cone okay this is for accepting angle the next one is the accepting cone okay so please see the diagram carefully single mode and multi mode so single rays are passed or single signal is passed for single mode in multi mode pathina multiple rays or multiple signals are passed okay so accepting angle and accepting cone so this is the basic equation already we discussed in the classes please go through that one okay so first to write your snell's law n1 sin theta 1 is equal to n2 sin theta 2 inga theta 1 and theta 1 we specify okay so from this diagram okay apply your pythagoras theorem and what is theta not okay so theta not is nothing but 90 minus okay theta c so that is for phi 1 you can write okay yes. so just to substitute okay then substitute in this equation number 1 and you are getting for sin phi not okay so in this equation what is cos phi is in for me cos phi c is nothing but square root of n1 squared minus n2 squared divided by n1 just to substitute here idla n1 n1 cancel pannitingana that is for your sin phi not idla phi not is nothing but is your accepting angle okay this phi not is considered as your accepting angle the same one for your accepting cone already we discussed just uh, rotate your wire ninga signal pass pandringa just to rotate your wire okay when you rotate your wires means when you rotate your cable means phi input side left irukum okay there is a cone is there நீங்க டார்ச் ஸ்டேட் யூஸ் பண்ணீங்கன்னா உங்களுக்கு தெரியும் டார்ச் ஸ்டேட்ல வரும்போது சிக்னல் ரேஸ் வரும்போது உள்ள அவுட்புட்ல எப்படி இருக்கும் ஒரு கோன் இருக்க மாதிரி we can able to reimagine that one okay that is the case so okay the signal should be within this cone limit automatically then only there will be chances for reflection okay yes this is for your accepting cone okay yes the numerical aperture the basic formula na is square root of n1 square minus n2 square okay kindly recall so what is the purpose of your numerical aperture so your uh, this is the value it gives the maximum capability of light gathering okay of your cable okay so up to this we discussed in the previous class of yes good the next one we are entering into the wave gate yeah is go through the diagram so what is wave gate basically any idea if you are two wheel la horn use pandringala what is the purpose of the horn horn so from yes just we are giving only for electrical pulse just press pandringa we are getting some output as is sound how it works the dc simple example for your wave gate okay i think boys ku theriyum there may be chances for multiple sound output also okay multiple sound output is also possible but there is one connector is there if you connect that connector with the uh, horn means okay the connector la pathina points irukum 1 2 3 if you press 1 abina horn sound vera mari irukum if you press 2 abina horn sound vera mari irukum okay so that is changes 
that is that connected okay they guide the your output waves they guide your sound how it comes up in other it guides for simple example if in my in front of you there is air is there okay cause nariya namak adikidu is there any sound no okay if you are using flute okay flute la mele pathi enna irukum holes irukke okay so with the help of that flute okay if you control that wave the sound wave ninga control panna bodu flute to the output eppadi irukku we are getting some music interesting music we are getting that night this is also example for your wave guide it guides your wave are you able to understand yes okay please go through that one okay so your wave propagates in all direction in open spaces spherical wave okay you your wave guide combines the wave to propagate in one dimension okay that is the example for your horn and air bag okay so your uh, flute your flute like you are giving some input you are giving some output okay both are waves only both are sounds only but depends upon your uh, finger movement and the air duct plus depends upon your finger movement that is the output is vary that is the example for that one okay yes good so what is the purpose of these wave gates why we prefer this one already communication is there okay so fiber optic communication muliyama we are passing the signal then again why we go for this wave gates means okay normally up to 30 gigahertz transmissions varikum we can use the normal communication purpose normal fiber optic communication is enough okay but beyond that limit if you not go for this wave gate propagation that is for the horn like being control for bring it float like the control pumping low and more control panlaina we are not able to get the clear output there may be long distances pogum bodu losses are there that's why we go for the wave gate okay please see this one please go through the points so this is the example for your optical wave gate so the ranging from tens or hundreds of micrometers in integrated photonics yes so up to thousands of kilometers long distance the fiber optic transmission is possible okay so this is the optical wave gates also some key stretches for your semiconductor later okay active and passive devices okay try to understand so within this rectangular or square or some other okay pipes mulima we are transmitting that way if i use it for understanding and giving some example to you okay uh, i think ninga greedum padam paathirukinga ellarume yaar hero ga na greedum la pesla me idu ajit fan yaar me illa okay so listen if generally okay so upstairs la veetla modi la irundhu pera pesuranga appadina veetla inside ninga hall or bedroom la namakku kekkuma kekkadu because modi la ukkana rendu per pesuranga na we are not able to listen that sound okay within the hall okay or our kitchen or something but and the film vivek onna pannuvare anga oru ulla pipe irukku okay just and mele modi la ukkana idinga ajith and trisha on the water tank la ukkana pesi irukku paanga அந்த இருக்குது பைப் இருக்கும் அவுட் புட் பைப் இருக்கும் அந்த பைப்ல பாத்தீங்கன்னா சின்ன ஒரு பொனல் அட்டாச் பண்ணோனே என்ன ஆகும் அவங்க என்ன பேசுறாங்களோ தே லிசன் இன்சைடு தி ஹவுஸ் சோ நார்மலா மேல பேசுறது நமக்கு கேட்கல பட் த்ரூ தட் பைப் we are able to listen that voice that is the example for your wave gate okay so normally wave gates la you are transmitting through the optical fiber for very very thousands of kilometers adina yes it transmitted but there may be chances for losses but with the help of this wave gate once again tell wave gate is nothing but some pipe over pipe modima ninga transmit pannumbodhu the losses are reduced that is the simple example one okay yes let's show some simple video to you for easy understanding
first we discuss theory then we go for the video so once again repeat wave gate is nothing but try to see the, uh, imagine your example for your horn and your flute okay the horn le, if you are using some extra connectors means we are getting multiple sounds if you press one sound one is different if you press two sound two is different the same for your flute also in flute upper part you are having some air ducts of that okay so in your finger movement depends upon your air duct and finger movement we are getting some musical output okay that is we have to control that one so up to some kilometers example if it's over 100 kilometers there is no issue for 1000 kilometers talk about this normal fiber optic combinations also there is some issue okay we are getting there may be chances for losses so that's why we go for optical communication is one but with the help of some medium that is for the help of some rectangular or some other medium we are passing that one that is considered as your wave gate okay this is this one yes so they basically planar wave gate rectangular wave gate and optical one so please see the diagram so planar is nothing but a flat one so there is a top and bottom is there so uh, if or parallel plate market pass my try to imagine that one okay so within these two plates there is a wave we are passing that wave so rectangular means so the rectangular one that is for all the sides are closed we are passing that one then optical wave we are familiar okay optical fiber okay so based on this we are having some non-planar wave gate and planar wave gate so generally non-planar is nothing but two dimensional ones okay in planar one means it is a optical function one only one transverse direction okay if the diagram for me diagrams are just like that if a video one la you know, just like that if a single sine wave you know we are getting mode one only okay then mode two mode three okay the same way the wave is paused there so try to understand this one so planar wave gate rectangular wave gate and optical one this is the equations for this one generally so x y and z so theory they are using the word for x and y and z some textbooks in the diagram could be but try to understand okay yes okay, so it is a planar one okay so n1 being the medium that is for your core imagine for again core so the optical fiber la now inside there is a core is there okay surrounding of your core there is a cladding is there okay we are pausing your signal through the core only not for cladding okay so if a planar type means you know or rectangular parallel plate okay so between the parallel plate there is a core is there okay with the help of that core we are passing the signal that's why they indicate the first diagram is slab okay planar is nothing but just understanding purpose slab and slab is going assume for again okay then the cylindrical one you know okay core and sliding the condition for n1 greater than n2 and theta i greater than theta c okay that is for refractive index of your inside core should be greater than the refractive index of your outside cladding and the incident angle should be greater than your critical angle so these two conditions in case of your cylindrical one okay but in case of your planner planner means n1 should be greater than n2 and n3 that is the conditions for your optical one okay so planar and cylindrical please go through this one you see the diagram what happens n1 n2 and n3 so first diagram for okay okay so where there is a difference one and there is a changes is there okay so depends upon your medium so depends upon your medium it is changes that is for based upon your refractive index that is for your core and sliding changes okay step index it is considered as the step index so in the step index where in the step index is different okay please try to understand so it is on the normal step index this is considered as your grade eight one okay grade eight index okay yes please try to recall this one already we discussed this topic okay please recall planar rectangular and optical okay so the very important one for tonight is guide the light wave by constraining travel into along a desired path. Okay, it may be the path may be planar or rectangular or optical. Okay, yeah.
so the fiber optics we discussed okay so fiber la pathom there are three types of modes are there okay so already told to you idu vandu romba vast syllabus kala but nama syllabus la irukadhu vandu try to understand the basic concepts only okay yes so guided mode leaky mode and radiation modes okay you can directly write this equation if possible na the last one mot el cut off condition mot el den or otherwise it's not necessary just write the theory part only in your final exam okay so the uh, over mode of operation so the muscle bus play that is not necessary for us okay yes so this is for your fiber mode okay yes please wait Yeah, we will discuss the basics one, then come here. Okay. 
So wave gate that is for energy can propagate through a medium, okay, or a vacuum, okay. So for this, up to 100 kilometers, there is no issues. If you go for long distance, example for hundred thousand of thousands of kilometers, means that you know, normal fiber optic cables are not enough. So we should go for the propagation that is for a wave propagation one. That is, we go for the wave gate. Okay, yes. This is this one. There are three modes of operation basically: PE mode, PM mode, and PEM mode. So PE is nothing but transfer electric wave. And PM is nothing but transfer magnetic wave. And PEM is nothing but transfer electromagnetic wave. Please go through one by one. I will explain. What is PE and what is PM and what is PEM most? Please go through. Okay. So first is transfer electric wave. Okay. It is sometimes called as H wave. Okay. So please note this one. PE waves is nothing but transfer electric waves. It is considered as a H wave. Okay. The same way, PM is nothing but transverse magnetic waves. It is considered as your H vector. Okay. Please note this one. This is for your electric vector E. This is for your H magnetic vector H. Okay. So E for electric. So consider as a PE mode. Okay. Here H for magnetic. So it is considered as a PM mode. Okay. So if we go for PEM mode, that is for transverse electromagnetic wave, okay, so you combine both electric and magnetic. So in this case, electric vector E and magnetic vector H are perpendicular to the direction of propagation, okay. Please see the diagram, yeah. This is here the electric wave and magnetic wave, both are present here. So try to imagine this one, what is the electric and what is magnetic, you know the direction, okay? The next, I think next one I saw the video to you, how the electric and magnetic is present one by one, okay? So here electric signal and magnetic signal, electric wave and magnetic wave both are perpendicular to each other, okay? In case of your PEM mode of operation. Next one, T, transverse electric wave, okay? So in this example already, okay, you know, only X and Y directions are considered, Okay, in Z direction, electric wave is zero. Also in Z direction, magnetic waves also considered to be zero. In case of same mode, PEM mode, okay. So because both electric and magnetic are present. But in PE mode, okay, transverse electric conditions, there, X and Y directions only considered, okay. So in the Z mode, automatically Z mode, so that is for uh, EZ is zero. That is for in either direction, electric field is considered as a zero, but there may be chance for the magnetic wave reply, no problem, okay? So it is the condition for the PE mode, okay? Transverse electric one. So it shows the direction of propagation. The same for your PEM mode, magnetic one, transverse magnetic one. So what is the condition mean? In the X and Y directions only we have to consider. In case of either direction, the magnetic field is considered as a zero. Okay, so M is the for zero, okay. So please see the comparison. I think before that one, please see this one. Electric field and magnetic field is present, okay. Please show the, uh, see the direction of propagation. So magnetic flux lines appears as continuous loops, but in case of electric flux lines appears with the beginning and end point, okay. So the blue color is indicates your electric lines and the red color is indicate your magnetic lines, okay? So what happens in case of PE mode and PM mode is the, so transverse electric mode and transverse magnetic mode. Now please see the comparison one by one, please go through. The first one is the electric mode and second one is the PM mode, okay? So PE mode one day, we have to assume EZ is zero. Okay, so the TM mode of Patina H is at least zero. So the X and Y only we have to consider, X direction and Y direction only we have to consider. Is that direction I never got the meaning Patina? That is for electric worm with TE worm with electric is zero. Magnetic worm with magnetic is zero, we have to assume that one. So dominant mode of Patina, okay, listen, the TE zero, one, two, three, the number of types for the So that is not necessary for us. Just we have to understand what is TE and what is TM, okay? Yes.
Any doubt in this? Yeah. So please wait. Again, I will show that you can able to understand. Please go through what is TE, TM, and TIM. Is the very important one in case of transverse electric mode means we have to consider E is that is zero in Z direction. Is that is indicated in Z direction and X and Y coordinates only we have to consider. So in transverse magnetic mode also, we have to consider only X and Y direction, okay? So E, that is for H, EZ is zero. H for your magnetic, H vector for your magnetic mode. So H, EZ should be zero. So the in TEM mode, that is for H is at zero, then E is at zero, okay? So both the modes are zero means this belongs to the 10, that is for transverse electric and magnetic mode.
So normally inside this one, there may be chances for this central steel wire. But in case of your normal road size blue is they are using some gel. There are fiber optic cables on the okay, if you lorry bus pressure of the damage of we are using this one. Okay. Yes, it may be a steel wire or maybe some types of gels they are using. Okay. Yeah, please try to understand this very carefully because in the schematic diagram, what is the input? We are using some electric pulses. So electric pulses plus on off, on off is there. Then it is converted into the light signals. Light signals only transmitted through the fiber optics cable. Output we are getting again uh, your uh, that is for light waves. It is converted into the electrical pulses. Okay, even the frequency of being over water. Try to understand that one. Okay, yes. So how your pulses are converted into the light waves, that is important. So the light port is indicates the one, the door points indicates the zero. Okay. Yes. So fiber optic materials we will continue in the next class. Okay. Yes. So kindly recall the today's topic. So the numerical aperture. So what is the purpose of your numerical aperture? Be, you know, it indicates the light gathering capability. Okay. Yes. The formula is square root of n1 square minus n2 square. That is for your numerical aperture. Okay. Yes. The next one, waveguide. What is the basic examples we discussed? Means horn and air duct. Okay. Yes. So with the help of your air duct, we can able to control that one. So up to some few kilometers, there is no issues for the normal optical fiber cable. Okay. So in a video, US and the UK under the sea, they are using the uh, the fiber optic cables on they are used for running. Okay. So, but it's on the wave gate on the solar, but there should be some wave gate there. That is for the uh, square wave, that is for planar wave gate or rectangular wave gate or cylindrical, they are using that one. Okay. Yes. So that is for your optical wave gate. Okay. Yes. So please, what is planar and what is rectangular and what is optical fiber? Yes. So you see the diagram. So based upon your di that is for your dimension, two dimensional, or single dimension, three dimensional. We are using planar and non-planar. Okay. So this is for your okay. First one is your planar one. The second one is your cylindrical one. So please see the x and y and z direction. First, go to the cylindrical one. So cylindrical being the normal fiber optic conditions is apply N1 greater than N2 and theta I should be greater than theta C. Okay, I'll leave you familiar. But if you go for the planar mean, N1 should be greater than N2 and N3. Okay. So this is for the step. Okay. So normal step index, then graded step index. Okay. Yes. Okay, so basic mode of operations for you TE mode, TM mode, and TEM mode. Okay, TE is nothing but transverse electric, and TM is nothing but transverse magnetic. 
and pe m is nothing but transverse electromagnetic okay so pe is nothing but h waves okay or this for electric vector e we are using that one tm mode for both e waves or h vectors they are using that one okay so tm la both e vector and h vector is present in perpendicular manner okay yes so this is what tm mode both electric and magnetic for perpendicular to each other this is for your te mode and this is for your tm mode okay so comparison we see the diagram what happens in te mode and tm tm mode okay yes no thank you thank you all any doubt in this one dear students do you have any doubt so next class we discuss about the fiber optics material and what are the fabrication techniques we are using for the fiber optics we will discuss one by one okay thank you thank you all